Yo, what's up, everybody? So, uh, today I'm doing another intro tutorial. Um, yeah, that. <laughs> Let's get into it, I guess. Uh, so basically, I just created a composition with the uh, text. I'm using the font called Prime Time. Uh, so basically, you have the name right here, and basically, what you want to do is space it out. Basically, um, if you want, you could use optical. It looks good sometimes, and um, I'm. If you want the spacing to be like the way you want it to look, all you have to do is select the letter, and it will always be on the right side. I want all my spacings to be somewhere like this because with some fonts, it doesn't uh, space out that nice. That's why I most of the times do it myself. I always uh, keep a layer, so if I do make a um, Error, spelling the name. I can still change the name, so I call this change name layer or something like that. Then uh, what I'm gonna do right now is add some gradients. I always use gradient ramp. You could also use some other gradient stuff, I guess. So basically, let's pull this all over the text, and I want this text to be something like. Mint. And let's copy this one. And let's make this one something like this. So this is a pretty nice gradient. And we're gonna add another one. Drag this one as close as you can to the middle, and you'll have you'll have this spot where it like cuts perfectly. And then blend with original. Around ninety five percent will be good. And let's make this one a bit more dark. This one as well because of the light layer. It looks not that nice. Wait, this is the light one. <laughs> so let's make this one a bit more dark. Something like this will look good, I think. Uh, if you don't like the color, you can just add a hue saturation to it like this and change the color oh wait it has to be under everything and let's make the lightness a bit like this mm. I guess let's just give it a zero and give the lightness one why not? And then let's pre-compose this. Always make sure you have this selected so the um, the effect controls also get moved. Let's just call this one gradients. Um, we're gonna add a stroke to this and some other stuff. For instance, a bevel and emboss always looks good in my opinion. We could have done this to the gradients layer, but I don't know why I didn't do that. It's uh, late, okay. <laughs> uh, just start messing around with these settings. And I like the soften. And then just make this all a bit more light. And what we're gonna add now is something called a uh, inner glow basically these are all the same as in Photoshop so if you know how to use Photoshop you most likely will know how to use this I guess I guess this looks good let's add a stroke I don't really like the color that much though but you know that's optional and stuff, you can still change it whenever you want. Let's add a stroke. Let's make the stroke something like this, I guess. Now we can put this on. Let's make this 25. Copy paste this and delete the stroke on this layer. And I saw some people do this, add a drop shadow 
to this and like right here make it something like this and they made it wide or something like that I don't know why people do this if they think it looks good then good for them I guess like this I guess it doesn't add that much but you know people like it so might as well show you how to do it let's make this the uh, uh, stroke and layer styles layer and that what we do is we're gonna add a plugin called echo space if you watch the guy or die you've watched this tutorial so you know that this is basically the same as a repeater but it works on everything so let's make this 25 click repeat and make the scale a bit smaller and let's put the y offset a bit down and this is basically a generic text what else uh, we could do is add an adjustment layer and add again hue saturation then make the master lightness minus 25 or somewhere somewhere around that and you will basically have a pretty good looking uh, text I think and again you could pre-compose all of these to uh, extrusion or whatever you want to call it then I'll see a lot of people do this as well add a layer style a stroke make the stroke somewhere like this color make this 20 no that's too much let's make this 15 and then add a drop shadow on it oh yeah this is because of the outline it will always go over the stuff uh so let's pre-compose this Precomposing this as much as you want wouldn't affect the performance in After Effects at all, I think. I, I hope. So let's add a drop shadow to this. You also have a drop shadow in the layer styles, but I feel like this one is easier to control. And something else you could add as well is another gradient. Like right here. And make it blend with the... Uh, intro So make it blend like 95% and This is basically how you make this cool looking text. I Hope you guys like this tutorial uh, It's pretty easy to do you could also add like uh, You could also add like a fill behind this so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial be sure to leave a like and let's hit aim for 50 likes I'll see you guys tomorrow or another upload, I guess. Bye-bye.